Hey everybody, I'm going to try and use up the remainder of my stock there. These are the uh, leveling bolts for the press and they're 5 8 18 thread. And what I need to do is I need to make some locking nuts, which I'm going to make out of these. And according to my measurements, I have enough to make four of these. So I'm getting ready to thread this. And I'm going to run the thread enough for a couple partings there, but after I get it threaded, I need to knurl, run some knurling. I'm probably going to do some uh, do some other cuts on here. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. But they're locking nuts, and these are the bolts I'm using for the uh, for the leveling on the press. I'm not going to be powering this. I'm going to be doing it by hand. Kind of a pain in the butt this way. I'm just going to bring you back when it's threaded. It's too hard to work around this camera. All right, we'll see if we can uh, do it this way now. As you can see, I don't have a proper tap handle but that's going to change soonly enough I don't know if you can see my first parting line, it's at a quarter of an inch. And this is where I need the magnifying visor because I can't see that for the hill of beans. So now I can see. Okay, so. I'm not going to cut that all the way off. I'm just going to start it. And that's all I need anyway right there. I don't need to go any farther. So the next thing I need to do is knurl these two faces and uh, I'm going to get that set up and I'll bring you back for that. All right, we got the knurler set up. I'm going to go ahead and put a knurl on this. It's a pretty sticky knurl. I could probably go a little deeper. I'm <laughs> 
No idea what's going on there. No idea. Oh, ah, yep. That's why. So I made a mistake. I used the wrong cutoff tool. That's why it was doing that. And you see my parting line is a lot larger than the width of that so I kind of screwed up so it's all right we'll just uh, hopefully I'll still have enough to make four of these So I'm going to let that cool off and then um, you can see my threads coming to an end. I want to run the tap a little deeper before I part that off. So I'll bring you back after it's cooled off and then we'll go ahead and part that one off and then we'll start the next two. All right, so it's cooled off, got the tap set up. Let's see if we can run this a little deeper. I'm going to run that thread tap again, then we'll part it off and we should be done for the most part at least. It's a little, a little warm, it's not really too bad. I got enough uh, thread to part these off now. I'm just gonna run it just a little tiny bit farther. Right. 
We'll deburr that after it cools down. Well, I needed four, I got four, thankfully. Even with the mistake, but the mistake was easily correctable. Thankfully. And we'll clean that up when it cools off. So there they are, they're all done. Um, I'm sure there must be a really super machinist fancy way of deburring that leftover, but um, I got through it. I'm not a machinist, I'm a mechanic by trade, but uh, you know, one day I'll know some of the tricks, but there they are, all nice and ready to go. So this is the this is the press. These are the leveling feet. So once we get that in there, then this will screw down and just lock hand tight right into place. That's all it needs to do. And that way these won't walk out as I'm using the press. That's all. That's all it is. I got four of these. One to go there. And on the other side. So that's it, pretty nice.